If you're a real estate agent with a team of agents that you want to distribute leads to, stay tuned. On this short video, I'm going to show you the power of ManyChat and the ProEdge chatbot of how we can set up what's called a randomizer. So when those leads come in from social media, the system can automatically tag the agent that you want to assign the lead to. And then at the back end, if the lead gets nurtured to a real client, we could send an automatic text message or email or get that lead right to that agent so they can follow up immediately. And of course, with a zap, you can then send it over to your CRM. So let's hop over to ManyChat and let me show you how this works. But first, I want to thank you for joining me on the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, smash that subscribe button, hit the like button to share the love across the YouTube channel, and let's dive in to make this the best decade ever. Let's hop over to ManyChat and let me show you how this works. Okay, here on ManyChat, I'm gonna show you one of my agents down in Florida that has an operation with agents down in Tampa as well as up in Orlando. And as they're doing advertising, they want all the ads to be distributed by city and then inside the city, if there's multiple agents, how do we distribute it within the agent? So I'll show you that exact strategy here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come into ManyChat and on the folder here, um, I like to use what I call lead trackers. So when I build flows in ManyChat in my ProEdge package, I have tons of lead tracker flows that are set up here automatically. But for him, they're real easy for you to set up. So if you're a ManyChat user, um, basically for each city um, and that you're going to uh, advertise in, you're going to want to create a flow for that city. Now this uh, agent loves JSON ads. They're one of my favorite as well. If you're not familiar with JSON, JSON is a way to attach the chatbot directly to a Facebook or Instagram ad. Uh, I do have uh, several videos on my channel to show the three popular ways to attach the chatbot to the ad. One specifically that you want to definitely check out is the JSON because it engages the person immediately after they hit that button on, on your Facebook ad or Instagram ad. So basically uh, what we're doing here is we have one for his Orlando market that basically when the person clicks on the ad, um, right here it says, thanks for your interest in our rent to own program and lease purchase. Are you interested to learn more? Yes or oops, not ready. If they say they're ready, what you're going to see here is we stamp it with a tag that's called Orlando lead. So now that person is tagged as coming in from Orlando. We're doing the same over on Tampa. So all the leads coming in on JSON will get tam uh, as a Tampa lead. That's step number one. Now, if you look at the, uh, the, the second one, which is the Tampa one here, in here, there's a little bit more going on because this particular market up in Orlando, they only have one agent. So they're just t tagging it as Orlando and she's getting all the leads. But down in, in, in Tampa, they have a number of agents. So it's the same flow uh, over here. But now when you come over here, you're going to see there's what's called the randomizer. So in the randomizer, it's if I hit edit flow for a second, right here on the plus button, you'll find randomizer right here. So you can bring in the randomizer as a step. And if I just dive in here, the key to randomizer is every step in the randomization has to equal 100%. So if I have two, it'll be 50-50, or I could do 75-25. Uh, I can add a step uh, or add a variation. And on variations, it can't be 150, so I have to do like 33, 33, and then 34% will get to that person. So over here, that's how the randomizer works. So what we're doing here for them is we have a randomization. They have uh, five agents uh, in Tampa, and I'm just distributing the leads 20% to each of the agents. And then as I come over here, I'm doing a tag to that agent's name. So that's the second step in the process. So uh, when you're running ads, you want to tag the city. And then if you have multiple agents in that city, you could use the randomizer method to randomly assign these leads to each of the agents on the team. Now, the second step that we have is if you come in here, um, you're going to have the notification. So what I've done here for this agent is I built what's called a team notification system. So uh, because he only has one lead in, um, in Orlando or one agent in Orlando, um, I have a little switch right in the beginning here. And I'm going to show you how this gets triggered in a minute. We're going to use a rule to do this. So I built a simple flow that basically says if the tag is Orlando, 
send that lead directly to the Orlando CRM. So that agent up in Orlando has their own CRM. I think they use KB Core. So we're using a zap to then zap that lead over to that uh, woman's KB Core system so she could follow up with those leads. But if it's not Orlando and they only have two cities, then we do another switch where we're looking at the condition of if the, if the tag is this agent, that agent, this agent, and then we're sending a simple message. So over here, we have a message that says, hey, first name, you have a new lead, and I give them the first name, last name, email, and then down in here, you'll have that we're sending them a text and an email. So that is the way you send the notices out. Now, how do you get this fired? So one of the tricks I use in my chatbot marketing is I use rules inside of ManyChat. It's a very powerful capability in uh, ManyChat. So I created the Tyler team rules system here. So basically on the, this particular notice for that, I'm using when a tag gets applied, then fire the, uh, the Tyler team notice. So what I do is in, uh, when the leads come in from Facebook, we do the assignment of the city, we distribute the leads or tag them with each of the agents, and then we send them into the flow that we want. So in this case, he's using a rent to own flow, and the rent to own flow is qualifying the person, getting credit scores, income, budget, all that good stuff. If they go and answer the questions right, they become a lead, and at the end of that flow, I tag the person rent to own lead. As Soon as they get tagged in that flow, this rule fires and then starts the notification. So the right agent in that Tampa, Florida region will get a text message with that lead so they can follow up. As you know in real estate, it's speed to lead. If you follow up with these people, you have a better chance of getting them as a signed client, closing more deals, and making this the best decade ever. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm here to support you. And again, if you haven't, please consider subscribing as I have this content coming out each week to make you a stellar agent in your market to close more deals. Enjoy.